Hey guys, welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this video we're going to be talking about how to make your objects have radial symmetry. It's something that confused me quite a bit until I figured out how to do it. Now it's actually quite easy. Once you understand the system, it's no problem at all. So today I'll show you guys how to implement that system. So, first thing you want to do is add your cylinder. Before you click away, just click here and you're going to want to adjust the amount of vertices we have on each end. So the system is basically like this. You gotta determine how many segments you wanna have. So let's just say we want five segments. And you wanna determine the resolution that each one of those segments have. So let's say I want 10, uh, resolution of 10 per segment. So there we go, we got 50 vertices, okay? So let's just rotate this into place. Scale it down. Make it look kind of interesting. And bridge these spaces. Apply the scale. And make it look really nice with some sharpen and some bells. And some weighted normals. Okay. So let's just scale that down a little bit. So Remember that we had five segments here. So let's go ahead and select our segment. One segment equals 10 uh, faces. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. There we go. Control I, delete it. And there's our one segment. So the key here is you have to add an empty. This is gonna be our, our rotator. So rotation. Five, five, ten, just to keep it organized. So all you have to do is add an array modifier, change that to object offset, and change that object that it's referencing to rotation five by ten. So now this object is referencing this empty for the array modifier. Uh, so if we go ahead and uh, let's just put this at the top, we'll increase the count to five because we want to have five segments. Now the key is if we rotate this, you can see that our all of our segments are there. Now you just need to figure out exactly the right amount to rotate your, your segment. And that's super easy. Just come to the object data, and we'll just type it in manually here. So we're rotating along the x-axis, and we want to rotate it 360 degrees all the way around, but divide it by five. And that makes our segment perfect. What we're actually going to want to do though is in between all these segments, these guys are loose vertices here. We have to weld those together. Otherwise, it's going to start looking bad. Uh, so we'll go here, grab a weld. We'll put that just under the array. Uh, and now all those vertices are going to be welded together. And that's, there you go, that's a seamless uh, radial array. So let's just start playing around with this, make it look uh, pretty cool. One of the things I like to do is go into cursor mode if I'm going to be scaling in radial symmetry. If you're just in uh, global mode and you start scaling this, you can see you get a lot of weirdness going here. But if we're in cursor mode, you can change this up here. Uh, then when we scale it, it actually just kind of acts like you don't even have this radial array. So that's kind of what we're looking for. That's going to be super useful for us. So we'll do a couple modifications by extruding, scaling it down. Um, we'll do that one more time. And so obviously you're going to have problems when you model here. And if you look into why this is happening, it's because you have interior faces. So all you got to do is just turn off all your modifiers and delete those faces. Just got to keep that in mind. So if we turn those back on. That's already looking nice. I think this bevel is a little bit too strong. Let's turn that down. Okay, so let's make a bit of an interesting shape. Uh, try moving these guys up and to select all these guys in the middle. Okay, we'll pass these changes to the other side. There we go, that's already 
interesting looking shape. So what we can actually do is bevel these corners. And give it a little bit of a crazy bevel. Something like that. If we got some weirdness going on, I should just weld these guys together. And just press 3 to clean it up. And transfer those to the other side. Okay, there we go. That's already looking nice, I think. Uh, so that's radio symmetry with five segments. Let's try it again. This time we'll do it with 17. So just remember the steps. Cylinder. So we want 17 segments. And what resolution do we want each segment? Let's say six. It's good to keep your, your segment resolution, have that be an even number. Uh, so you can have kind of a nice even shape per segment. And uh, get this roughly the shape we want. Sharpen weighted normals bevel again. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know what? Before we bevel, let's apply the scale. Might mess it up. There we go. So let's uh, give this guy a seat where he can sit so we can set these guys. And here's the basics. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so we'll add a brand new empty. Where's the empty? There we go. And this guy will call rotation uh, 17 by 6. So 17 segments with a resolution of 6 each. Let's select our segments again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 6. Doesn't matter where along the circle you select this, by the way. Control I. And that's our one segment. So now we just have to apply the array modifier and change it to object offset 17 by 6. Okay, and obviously change the count to 17. And when we rotate this object, you'll see all of our instances getting rotated properly. Nice. So again, you just have to figure out the correct amount to rotate it. Obviously, that is 360 degrees divided by 17. Now we can just start playing around with this shape. Add cool inset here. Something like that. Pop the array up to the top and delete the inside faces. And then, you know, don't forget to weld in between here. You're gonna have tiny little visible seams. So always put that weld modifier right there there you go uh, a little small threshold and then let's uh, give this top part kind of an interesting shape uh, so make sure that cursor scaling scale that out a little bit and we'll grab our smooth transforms by pressing O and scale it again. Lower that down a bit. Give it a interesting looking round shape. Uh, yeah, something like that. Let's take this guy and make it smoother here. Even. Okay. So there we go. We got uh, radial symmetry of 5, 17, 
Uh, so like I said, it doesn't matter the number of sections that you have, it just matters uh, as long as you keep track of how many segments you have and what resolution you have it at, you'll be totally fine. So let's do one more to make this look really, really nice. So let's say this one doesn't actually matter what the resolution is. This will just be a cylinder uh, sticking on the, on the side of it. So it's also important that you apply your rotation at scale. If you don't, it's going to kind of mess it up. So just keep an eye on your rotation at scale. Change that back to global. Put this into place. Okay, so I'll clean it up again. The usual sharpen weighted normals and a little bit of the bevel. Turn my wireframe so you can see. add uh, another cylinder in here. This one will give it uh, maybe six vertices. We'll make a little bolt. Base inset extrude. There we go. So a simple bolt. So this one it actually doesn't matter uh, our resolution or anything. We're just gonna use radio symmetry across here. And let's pick a weird number like seven. So remember, you need your uh, cursor on the origin here. So your empty always has to sit in the middle of your wheel. And your origin also has to sit in the middle of your wheel in order for this to work. Uh, and we'll get another plane axis, and we'll just call this one, I don't know, rotation. Oops. Uh, Add the array modifier again, change that to object offset, and rotation bolts. Let's say we want a seven count. So we'll grab this guy, rotation x 360 divided by seven. There you go. So yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter the amount of uh, radial arrays that you have, it just matters that you know uh, how many times that divides into 360 degrees. Okay, and this also works with uh, booleans as well. So I'll show you guys that really quick. Let's say we want to do a hard object boolean in here. Okay, so let's just grab a circle boolean. Let's start it here and set that guy in. Okay, so you see that works pretty well. Um, we can adjust this later on. There we go. Got that same object that I showed you at the beginning really easily. Um, and so the last thing you might want to do is actually just move this all as a group. Right now it's kind of tricky to move it all. You have to select everything. It's a little, it's a little wonky. Uh, so if you want to move this all as a group, just add a brand new empty. We'll give it a different look, maybe the arrows, and we'll change the. Uh, I think you can change the size here, yeah. Change this to two, just so we can see a little bit better. This will be our main uh, mover, let's say. Uh, so basically, we'll just have this selected, press A to select everything else, and uh, Control P, parent to object. So that just kind of lets us move everything if we just grab this guy. Uh, same with rotations. So that's super handy. And 
Yeah, that's how you get quick rotational symmetry and you're able to move your objects around. So thanks so much for watching. Take care.